sometimes I feel really, really bad because I drag in the morning and it's before coffee. So I don't have that like ah! energy when I get on here and it takes me a little bit to warm up. So I feel bad. I shouldn't feel bad, but I feel bad. And fun fact, back when I used to see people, if I hadn't had coffee, people would always ask me what's wrong. Like, are you okay? What's wrong? I had no idea why people would ask me that. And I think I've realized that it's because they wouldn't talk. <laughs> I was just quiet. So if I'm quiet, something's wrong with me. <sighs> but I'm just a slow starter in the morning. There are some people that can just like wake up and go. My aunt is one of them. She wakes up in the morning and she's like, <laughs> so I just sit there and so she came to visit me in January of this year and I am gosh I remember when she had announced that I was like I mean I don't I just got back from like Christmas and New Year's I kind of wanted to decompress like in my head you know but obviously we open everyone to, with open arms here. So, and she was, she is, it's super funny because she, she's the one that lives in Santiago, Chile. And I mean, my, everybody in my family and friends had come to visit me and she, one, wasn't able to attend my wedding, which was 2019, also last year. Uh, 2019 was a great year. <laughs> So she didn't make it to the wedding. She had never met my husband and she needed to escape. So things were like really tense and heavy for her pre-COVID. And so she decided to escape to here, which like I said, I welcome with open arms. But she stayed the longest out of all of my family. She was here for, I think, two weeks. Great two weeks, had a great time. It's so crazy because you think about it, right? And you're like, gosh, if I think back to the way that I was thinking and feeling in January, and I was so like, hmm, I don't, I don't wanna travel. That was another thing I didn't want for 2020. I wanted, I had traveled so much in 2019, so much. I had like status at American Airlines, I, traveled so much you guys know that I hate flying so I really wanted to get grounded <laughs> be careful what you wish for today's coffee chat is sponsored by Amy Rachel Shannon and lollipop lollipop stitches so thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you guys want to know how you can support the channel there is a link down below called buy me a coffee um, I've added an extra little thing there so you can either buy me a coffee or you can buy yourself something but I'm not going to spoil what it is because it's there and you just have to figure it out for yourself. It's a fun little project that I worked on last week when I was very inspired and creative. This week I'm not so inspired and creative. I, I go through these like and I think everyone does it. You go through these like creative blocks where you're just like oozing with like ideas and you're just on fire. And then all of a sudden you hit a wall and you're like, oh, what did I get myself into? Well, I don't have anything else. I'm not interesting, the like negative thoughts. <laughs> but no, you just have to hop on and talk to the camera and then loosen up and the content will come to you. Oh my gosh, so I have notes of course the neighbor stories from last coffee chat. If you guys scroll down, uh, a lot of them were posted publicly for you guys to read. Uh, and then I had quite a few come to me direct message. Neighbors are hilarious. And it's so funny. You have like the best of neighbors where you fall in love and get married to your neighbor and the worst of neighbors, which would be like the annoying DJs and 
Yeah, that's rough. My neighbors here have been, well, you guys know about Avatar, which we haven't talked again, which I feel super bad too, because it, now it's like, it's out of my hands. Maybe I should go to dinner with them and without the other half, maybe, I don't know. And then these guys here, <laughs> this wall that I share is empty. It's been empty for like three months. And that wall over there, he's weird. He is a weird person. I'm strange, but it's a different kind of strange. So that's, I don't think that that relationship is ever gonna cultivate into any kind of friendship. And then the rest is just like the people from the complex. So the water lady, there's like two or three dog people. Then the lady with her naked babies. They're like nature naked. We, I think I had mentioned, we have a very like culturally mixed, we live in a very mixed area. So where I am not used to naked babies, and when I say babies, toddlers, naked toddlers, I'm not used to that. I always was clothed, <laughs> always. Um, when I see a three or four year old, which is a, a bigger baby, walking around naked, getting hosed, or, you know, like going into the ocean completely naked without a care in the world, power to you, naked baby. But no. And if I were to ever have kids here and they wanted to be naked, I don't know, it'd be, that'd be a struggle. <laughs> Which brings me to another story because this is coffee chat, right? This is where I talk to my phone, you guys, who are not cyber strangers anymore. You're my cyber friends. So I think I had explained that growing up, I am first generation American. Being the first generation child is very hard, <laughs> very hard. And especially with my personality type where I just wanted acceptance and I wanted to be like everybody else and I didn't, well, back then. Now I don't wanna be like everybody else and I definitely don't want, I do love being unique and having all of these different things to me. But when I was younger, even my name, like, so my name's Rocio, like that's kind of tough for any language, unless, unless you're Spanish, you know? But uh, I would be called Rocio and I would not correct. Like you could call me whatever, Rocio. So there's a clear distinction if I'm walking in the street or, well, not here, but in the United States, in San Antonio, my hometown. If I'm walking somewhere and I hear Rocio, I know they're from the past. And I know that I should pretend that I don't know them and I should run very far away. And if they say, Rocio, which is like, mm -hmm, then they're from the new because I was finally old enough and confident enough to change the, or not change, but correct the pronunciation of my name. So that's a quick indicator from which part of my life are you from? And from my pre-life, because I was kind of the oddball, I only have one friend from the past. One friend from my kindergarten through senior year of high school. One friend. And then I would never do school. <laughs> and then in, after high school, college, and post life, I have several friends. So whatever I didn't have in the elementary, middle, high school years made up for in my adulthood. So there was another thing that I wanted to talk about. I have a request. If any of you know how to play the piano or have a great piano instructor that would be willing to teach someone via Zoom who is dedicated and follows plans super well, 
please contact me or send them my way. Um, I, back in San Antonio, when I knew I was going to come into quarantine 2.0 because they had closed the borders and I knew that we were heading into that, I had purchased a keyboard, um, an 88 key electronic keyboard. And I love it. I really enjoy it. I used to play way long, long time ago, the flute back in those days. So I used to be able to read music, I used to play, I used to be fairly decent at it, um, but then I was too cool for band because I wanted to be the cool kid, and I left band, which was dumb. I did a lot of things because I wanted to be cool, and I regret like 90% of them now as an adult, but oh well, you live, you learn. So anyway, I have some experience in music, it's not like I'm a completely no music, I don't understand. So I had downloaded um, several apps. I downloaded Flowkey, I downloaded Simply Piano. I went through some other guy named Zach, the piano guy. Like, And all of these are free trial things because I didn't want to invest in another hobby if it was gonna be something bad. And I also am the type of person that does a lot of research. So in doing a lot of research, um, lots of the piano forums and everything talk about, you know, all of these apps are cool and all, but you don't get the full experience of learning piano um, that you would with an in-person instructor. Now, I can't do in-person instruction. And then what happened was I downloaded, I guess it's like a beginner, kind of like the beginner book, uh, Alfred something. I may write it here. Um, and they go step by step with notes and like, you know, then you have all your exercises and stuff. But the problem is, is that if I don't have someone on top of me to keep me accountable, it just kind of falls off. And so I'm in that pickle where my husband is seeing the electronic piano just in its little storage case and is asking now like what about the piano like he really enjoyed that I was you know working on it and playing these things and it, and like I said I did learn quite a bit on my own but I want a formal instruction I want that and I don't want to do YouTube like I want a curriculum I need an instructor so if you guys know anyone who is an instructor and is willing to do lessons over Zoom or, you know, send recordings back and forth, I don't know, um, send them my way because I'm highly interested. And I'll include a little piano clip right now. So let's go back to politics. And when I mean politics, I mean Bahamian politics. So unless I, and if you're Bahamian on here, these are my opinions. So the prime minister came on to talk on Monday and has gone 180 degrees and is now planning on opening pretty much everything except like the borders and bars and in dining, like sit in dining on August 31st. Makes me nervous, not gonna lie. I will be continuing living my life the way that I live it. Um, I have been doing some, some, a speech therapy session with a little girl uh, over Zoom. And so I likely will be going to their house because they're also on quarantine and isolation. Um, 
So I, I think some countries or some places are calling the bubble. Like if you have a bubble, you can only have a maximum of a certain number of people in your bubble and those are the people you can interact with and that's it. And you hold each other accountable and you need to know that, you know, the contact tracing basically. So she's a safe person and her daughter's a safe person and also going very insane in their house. So just to disrupt the routine a little bit, me going over there and doing some speech therapy is both beneficial to her and it gives me something to do as well. So we decided that we would go ahead and start that up again next week when everything starts opening up. So what does that mean for this channel also is my life will go a little bit back to normal. Um, normal Bahamas normal a little bit. My free days would be Wednesday and Thursday mornings because every other morning I have like think like I have a grocery and the grocery store is not like as crazy insane as before but I have the grocery shopping to do so that's one morning that I just you know it's gone then I have two other mornings that I will be going and doing speech therapy so my free days or free mornings would technically be Wednesday, Thursday. I am super happy with this little adventure vlog. So I do want to keep up with it. My plan is to record every Wednesday morning and hopefully have that recording up by Wednesday afternoon and then record again on Thursday and have that recording up for Friday. So two videos per week, varying lengths, based on whatever comes to mind or whatever you guys are requesting or asking for. And I think I'm gonna keep this going because I, like I said, it has helped me. It's also like a documentation for me. Uh, I really love the interaction and the community that we've established. And I think I've mentioned that before. And it seems like people do look forward to these. So I'll keep them going. That being said, I don't know what kind of content is gonna be going on. I do have my dad sent me a bunch of pictures and videos and imaging of Atlantis. So what I need to do is I need to sit down and go through them. So that way I can piece them all together and kind of do like an Atlantis review. Um, I think I've mentioned Atlantis is a very big resort hotel, not here in New Providence, the Jelly Bean. But the jelly bean has a bridge that connects to another very small patch of land called Paradise Island. And that's where, I mean, Paradise Island is basically Atlantis. So I do want to talk about Atlantis uh, and review that. And then I also have a couple other videos in the future where I will talk about kind of, someone had asked me, you know, is there anything that you're going to miss once you leave Nassau, the Bahamas, because we all know that this isn't forever. Um, I think I mentioned our work visa and my spousal visa end at the end of this year. So there is a chance that I will actually be going back stateside 2021. And that's bittersweet. Completely bittersweet. On the pro side of it, I'm stateside again. So... You know, all of the commodities that I absolutely miss, <laughs> I'll be able to access. And then my working will also start up again eventually. And then also moving into that adulthood, like house hunting. That's crazy. Or like home projects and stuff like that. Like, oh, that is super exciting and I'm looking forward to all of that. But there are a lot of things that I will miss about living here pre-pandemic, 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 which pre, you know, the difference between pre-pandemic, during pandemic, and I don't know what's going to come from post-pandemic here. But um, yeah, there are going to be tons of things that I'll miss. So I'll sprinkle kind of those things in because I do want to talk about Bahamar a little bit more in depth. Um, and then, you know, talk about the tourist area. I think I have some videos and stuff. I have to go through my phone, um, and check or contact like all of the people who have come to visit me and <laughs> see if I can get some videos and stuff from there. But talk about straw market, 
um, fish fry, and just kind of, you know, document those things too. So my plan for today is to work on my Nora Corbett witch, which, 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 which should, I was hoping for a finish yesterday, but I think I'll end up finishing it today. I have watched a lot of floss tube, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of floss tube. Um, and I've gotten to know some new channels. And if you are a viewer of mine and you have a channel and you're recommended, you're recommending like everybody else for me to watch. And then like just on a whim, you're like, oh, and then, you know, on my floss tube, I'm like, what? You guys have channels? Tell me if you have a channel and you're watching me, tell me. I want to get to know my viewers. And the best way to get to know them is to watch their content so that I can see personality and how you guys talk and what, you know, what you guys are stitching. Like, that's so cool. So let me know if you have a channel and I'm not already watching you, which I'm watching a lot of you already. Uh, I really like to start at the beginning and kind of go through everything, but there are channels like Lollipop, for example, Lollipop Stitches, if you haven't checked her out, check her out. But she's been doing this for years, so it's like 88 videos. So what I did was like I watched the first two or three or I would skip every other and then she just posted one I think yesterday and so what I did is I just watched the one from yesterday but then if I'm I'm in a hole and need to fill something up then I'll probably go back to her old stuff and then work my way up I like to know kind of the beginnings even though if I were to watch my I I have not watched and I don't plan on watching my old videos I think I would cringe I would cringe and I would critique and then um, no, no, no. I probably will never watch them again. Maybe, yeah, no. So what I do, if you're curious, is I record and then I upload to my computer and then when I piece it together, I watch basically the clips and the video that I just recorded 50 million times so I can slice and put together and cut out unnecessary pauses or loss of train of thought just because, you know, why do you want to sit through my loss of train of thought or coughing or like a sneeze or something? No, I just edit all that out. Or yeah, the, the loss of train of thought happens all the time. So I slice, but in slicing and putting together, I end up watching my video, like the one that I just record two to three times, you know, not all together in one sitting, but I'm just constantly going through it. That's enough for me. Once it gets like the clear go ahead that I'm good to go, I put it up and I upload it and then I will not watch it again. And especially not older stuff because I'm sure you've noticed through my channel, if you go to my first video and then you look at now, it's night and day because you are starting something, you know? And so of course you're gonna be awkward and you're not familiar with video editing and you have no idea what you're doing. And it's the first time that you've ever put yourself out on a public medium like YouTube with a bunch of people watching you. So I'm sure that my first video is weird. Yeah. But I like watching everyone else's old videos. <laughs> I guess because it makes me feel better or, or I enjoy watching their journey too and go oh my gosh like when they first started they were super awkward too so yeah, yeah, yeah okay so plan for today stitch 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 plan for tomorrow will be recording about Atlantis so on Friday you guys should expect a video just on Atlantis so that'll be fun it'll be like a little travel vlog slash review and then you won't see me again until next week so if there's anything that you'd like between now and then I'm open to recommendations if you guys want me to talk about something if you guys have a specific question or anything that you'd like me to address you can either put it in the comments slide me a message whatever I'm good to do whatever and so yeah I guess we're just going to truck on with our day and continue chugging coffee so that my energy levels go up, up, up. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. Um, stay safe and as wish us well. Stay safe. Please stay safe. Only interact with people in your bubble. And <sighs> oh, to all the teachers and parents and students, a big, big hug, a big virtual hug to you guys. Wow, big virtual hug. We're all in this together, big virtual hug. And I will see you guys again, well, Friday. So have a great day, stay safe, stay safe, stay stitching, stay happy. And if you need anything, you know where to find me. Cheers. <laughs>